Welcome. I'm here today with Commander Derek Poe. He's the deputy of the Navy's Enlisted Plans and Policy Office. And we're here today to talk about advancements. So, sir, thank you for being here today. Thank you for having me. Great. So, the E4 through E6 quotas are currently out. Um, what do the numbers show for this cycle? The number of this cycle show that we've created opportunity for all ratings in the Navy. Um, the retention is higher this year than uh, we normally have been. So with higher retention, uh, we've seen lower uh, opportunity across the rates. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, sir, um, what determines the rise and fall of advancement quotas? Well, the rise and fall of advancement quotas is all determined about vacancies in the fleet, uh, current and planned vacancies. So we work closely with the community manager down in uh, Middleton to identify where those vacancies are mm -hmm. and set our quotas to make sure we, we meet the vacancies in the fleet to keep uh, community health good. Right, right. So now the uh, Meritorious Advancement Program is in its second cycle. Um, how does that affect the quotas for those who take the test? Well now with the, with the Meritorious Advancement uh, Program or MAP, we, we now have three opportunities in a given uh, fiscal year for sailors to advance. We have the spring of the Nibuad Advancement Exam cycle, then we have MAP, and then we have the fall cycle. So those three opportunities are, are balanced in order to create opportunity for all rates uh, in the Navy. And we work very closely with the community managers to ensure that this takes place. Okay, so um, look, look, looking forward, um, what can sailors do to improve their chances to advance? The best thing that a sailor can do to improve their chance to advance is to work hard, study hard, be that, that technical S SME down on the deck place within their division, their work center. Um, they can study, study, get, in, get into the books, be prepared for when the Naval Wide Advancement Exam cycle comes around. And the third thing they can do is seek out those, those mentors, that LPO, that chief, that can help them and guide them through their career. Well, sir, that's all I have for you today. Thank you for being here and asking the questions. Thank you very much for having me. And thank you all for watching. And be sure to read our story on Navy.mil to get the full number of quotas for the E4 through E6 advancement exam.